chords. These. Check it out. And can you feel the love tonight? Same chords. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Sometimes I... Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a update on playing a video file in unreal engine and i wanted to do this just because i just did another update and honestly i have had nothing but problems with trying to get video to play inside of unreal engine and what i'm going to do this time is basically show you a foolproof way that i found the most foolproof way that uh you can get the video to play but it's it's a little tricky and it does involve maybe using a video editing program in addition to Unreal Engine. To get started on this, I'm going to show you the process from very beginning to the very end and hopefully at the end we'll have the video up and running. The only issue I have doing it this way is that we have to add sound secondarily. So we have to add that in basically post kind of. So, but anyway, let me show you how you could do this is the key that I found is that I've never had problems with getting video to play if it's brought in as an image sequence. So it just changes our workflow a little bit because first you need an image sequence and not everybody might have an image sequence. So I use, for video editing, I use a program called Vegas Pro and I just have some random footage here from in Sedona. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to show you how I would render this out. I've got the clip on my timeline and this, hopefully your software should be the same, but you just come up here to file, render as, and in Vegas Pro, you have the option to render out as an image sequence. I'm just gonna render this out as a PNG sequence. The most important thing is you do have to put this in a folder, XX, and go save. And I do wanna save this. Yeah, it says I wanna save this. No way, it's saying that. So let me just change this to test footage. Test footage, okay. So I have a folder selected. I have the PNG selected. And, oh, there we go. I see it says PNG now. And then I'll just render this out into that folder, into this folder, new folder two here. So you, I'm taking an MP4 file and basically converting it into a PNG sequence. And it takes a little bit of time, but not, not too long. But this way, it's guaranteed pretty much to work. So it's just a little bit of a process. So we'll let this go through its, uh, its thing. As soon as it renders out, we're going to copy this file. Well, I guess we can go ahead and get started on this. So in the content level on our folder, where I'm just in a third person template, we're going to right click and just uh, create a new folder. And you have to call this movies. And this is mandatory that you do that. And you can go save this, save, make sure you save all. So that folder is saved and that'll be within your content level. And I can see my file is still rendering out. Once this file is rendered out, I've got to go into my system here and basically copy this folder into our directory here. So it looks like it's almost done rendering. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize this for a second. I don't need this Vegas Pro anymore. So I'm going to right click on my folder and just go copy it. And then I'm going to go into my Unreal folders here. So my D drive, Unreal projects, my project right here in the content folder, there's a movies folder. I just right click and paste in that sequence. So there that sequence is in there now. So now I can go back into Unreal Engine. And if I click in here, I won't see it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Okay, so now it's just a straightforward process of pretty much I don't know how many times you might have seen this done by other people, but it's pretty straightforward here. So we're going to right click, we're going to go into media, and instead of getting file media source, we're going to get image media source here, and then we'll just leave it called new media source, and double click into it, and then it's going to want to know, it says the sequence path, you see that? So I'm going to click on this, there's my new folder, and there is my, my path and I'll go import. And it's gonna import all 491 frames, files into here. Like I said, this is a guaranteed way that it will work and you're not gonna have any issues or have to mess with RHI or anything like that. And so the only downside to this is that you're gonna have to, if you have 
audio on your video, you're going to have to add that in, whether into the game itself or, you know, however you're going to do that. So, but at least you got the visuals of the video playing. So there is that. This takes a couple minutes for it to do all that because it's a lot. And this is actually bringing every single picture in into as a as a resource. So I'm just doing this because this is how I did it like almost a year ago and it worked. And I'm just finding that I'm this is the only way that's 100%. So, okay, so we're done there and I'm just going to save this. I think there's an option on here to loop and I'll make sure that's set to loop. Okay, and see, you'll see straight away that the picture is down here. So that's always a good sign. Now we're just going to right click and go to media and we're going to get a media player here. Click that there and go OK. And then we'll click into our media player here. And if we double click this, it comes in straight away. You see that? It's, it's working fine and we see the video and we'll just go ahead and keep it on loop. It's great. That part of it's great. So we've got all that going and we might as well go ahead and save all. Now we just have to create a material. So we're going to right click and go to material here. We'll just leave it called new material. We'll double click into it. I guess we can dock this up here. Dock that too, might as well. Go into new material and you press T and click. It brings in a texture node. And then we just search for our new media source here. Let's see, I can just search under new. You see all the folders it brought in, right? All that footage, it's right in the system here. New media player right there. And you see how it's playing even on here, right? So then all we have to do is drag this into our base color and you'll actually see it playing over here. So it's really, it's really cool. It's really interesting. And just apply and save. And we've got that done. So now all we have to do is right click and we're going to create a blueprint class. Go into actor, double click here, leave that docked. And we're going to add a plane, get a plane here and then drag this onto the scene. And I know we're going to have to probably rotate this. I'll hit the, I'll hit the space bar here. Oops. I, I didn't name, what's my name there? Plane space. And we're going to turn this and I'm sure we're going to have to, we can, we'll, we can stretch this too. And then what we can do is go find our material, which I believe is our new material. Is it called new material? material right here. There it is. And you see our video is playing, but it's not at the right orientation. So what we can do is just click on it and turn this to the right orientation. And then we can stretch it this way, I guess, to make it give it the, the right aspect ratio. I'm sure you can adjust this so that it doesn't look weird or anything like that. And then all we have to do is if we come in here, we can just drag this onto the scene. And I think if we turn it, we should see it playing. The only other thing we have to do to be able to see it while we're, we're playing is we got to go back into the new blueprint, go to event graph. We've got to create a reference to our media player. So here where it says Boolean, we're going to click and search for our media player this one right here and we want the object reference and I can press F2 here and call this media reference like that and then we're going to drag this onto the scene oops get and then we're going to want to put here open source here and then we'll pick our media player there plug this into here and then with our media selected here we've just got to compile and save and pick our media player there and then everything's all wired up and then if I hit play it's working flawlessly isn't that something <laughs> so anyway this seems to be in my experience Let's hit play again. 
the only way that has consistently worked. Any other way, I've had glitches or problems or issues. And every time I bring it in as a PNG or as an image sequence, it works no problem. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.